How's it going guys? Dre here and I welcome you to Veilguard. Now this is one I just found today and I gotta say it is a really cool game. It's kind of got a mix of genres. It's a tower defense uh, slash city builder that focuses really on the combat. So it's kind of like kingdoms and castles, but even more focused on combat. So we're gonna start it out today, see if you guys like it or not, and uh, yeah, start defending a hamlet. So from what I understand, you go from hamlet to hamlet, trying to defend it, and you actually get a random hero as well. So uh, you'll see that when we do get into it here. All right, here we are at Clearwater. You see a farmer loading, loading wheat into a cart, with the help of a ranger, they stop and address you as you approach. Welcome to the front lines, Veilguard. We need houses for workers and weapons for soldiers. I'd say we'd have about two weeks before the main attack, and at the moment, I'm the only defense this place has, so I hope you are as good as they say. So I guess, as the user, you are a Veilguard, and then you control the heroes even as well. So, we have 15 days at this hamlet, and then we move on and continue the fight. So yeah, you don't stick at the cities, you use them to defend yourself, and you defend it enough to actually stay there and not die, obviously. So defeat is when the inn is destroyed or all heroes die. So you gotta make sure those heroes are okay. So let's do it here and see what we got going on. So, uh, first of all, we're kind of in a tutorial right now and we're gonna ba basically do that tutorial because that's kind of how you want to do the start of the game anyways. So houses build workers. Workers allow you to do different tasks. Uh, right now, it looks like I have to build that house with two builders and then we want a farmer obviously as well to feed all of our people. And I guess it wants us to assign a worker to the idle task. I'd rather do spears. Oh, it's gonna let me. Okay, so let's actually start collecting some uh, bows so we can make some bowmen later. And we're gonna make some bows right now. Now, we start with actually quite a bit of lumber, so don't have to worry too much about that. We are going to need some iron soon, though. Anyways, we're gonna end this day. It rains during the night, and by morning, a storm has passed. Or sorry, the storm has passed. More house means more workers. Let's have them build weapons. Okay, so uh, I think the, the enemies usually come from the smoke so now that I see this over here I thought they would come over here I hope it changes because obviously we have at least a little bit of defense on this side of our hamlet here all right we need it wants me to assign workers and we're gonna have to build bows so it wants me to do four and again it's telling me to end the day but that would be wasteful so let's make some lumber as well because we're gonna need lots of lumber nothing but the sound of wind and crickets tonight if only it was every night okay so we got a nice relaxing night so yeah I think they're gonna come from the top right uh, monsters will likely attack tonight. Luckily, the bows you built displayed in the top left are enough to make a bowman squad. All right, so let's do that. We're going to make some troops here, and it costs 20 gold and four bows to make a bowman squad. Obviously, there's four bowmen in a squad, so you need four bows for that. Oh, does this go up? You can, we can actually put them on the bridge, and that might be smart. Uh, no, it wants me to put them exactly here, so we're kind of in a tutorial, unfortunately, so we got to do that. All right, and I think that's pretty much it for the tutorial, at least I, from what I remember. Assign workers an end day turn, so yeah, it's just going to kind of let me do what I want now. So we have uh, food. We're doing okay for food. We don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, let's get some spears, actually, so we can get a spearman group, group going on. Uh, that's going to take 10 wood, unfortunately, so we're going to need some lumber. All right, we're going to make two spears for right now, and we're, we're going to use a lot of lumber in this run through. So obviously, I want to focus mostly on that, but we are going to need some weapons as well. You wake to an eerily, eerie silence. No crickets, no wind. All is silent. Save the rattle. Sa save the rattle of bones and armor. Skeletons approach. Okay, so I'm thinking they're going to come from that fog. Let's see, though. An enemy is upon us. Protect your town center and don't let your heroes die. Uh, I already do know the controls. Okay, toggle to slow down time. All right, so where are they? Okay, so yes, they are coming from over here, as I thought. So this whole defense we got going on here is totally wasted. And all I got is my main hero. So I guess we're going to have to attack with that for right now. I don't think this first wave is going to be too difficult. So there we go. Take them down. Yeah, just keep hitting them. Oh, yeah, the hero is uh, having no problems with these little guys. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did make bowmen. I totally forgot in the tutorial we made some bowmen. So <laughs> they don't even have time to attack. He's already killing them too fast. So he didn't even need the help. Nothing of value was salvaged from the enemy. Well, that's too bad. Uh, usually you randomly get some random loot. A merchant cart has arrived. Perhaps we should do some trading. Okay, so now we can see the trade cart. Let's see what they got going on right now. Okay, so food's dirt cheap. So it's usually random uh, what's cheap on this. And I don't like to spend too much money because it's very hard to earn money in this game so not really interested in any of this if it was three per for timber or ore i would definitely uh take them up on that do we have any uh access of anything i mean we have quite a bit of food but not enough to sell so i'm not gonna deal with that trade cart for right now what i'm gonna have to do oh wait 
Okay, so the fog of war has changed. In my first run through when I was practicing this game, it never changed the spot. So that's actually kind of cool. So now obviously we kind of need to defend all sides of our hamlet. So we can actually make defenses, we can make guard towers, and we can make the walls that will stop them from moving in. Now uh, that's gonna cost us a lot though, and I think we might be able to just power through it for this first hamlet. So I'm not gonna go too crazy on defenses until I know we need it. I'd rather go crazy on troops. So with that in mind, we're going to uh, drop the, the guys down for spears right now. I wanna go directly to lumber. So actually, yeah, cause then we can make more buildings and therefore have more workers. So we probably wanna focus on getting workers right now and then later on we can get some troops. So there we go, we're gonna end the day. Uh, trade card's probably gonna go away. Usually there's one random event at night and here is said event. Scouts report that a couple of uh, sorry, a couple and their child are fleeing towards your village. They are wounded and there is likely an enemy in pursuit of them. If they are allowed to enter the village, we will surely be attacked. What are your orders? Oh god, don't make me deal with this. Let's try and demand payment and then let's help them as well. Before he can answer, an arrow pierces the man's chest, killing him instantly. His wife and child flee in horror. Oh my god, what did I do? They are here already. It looks like there's going to be a fight anyways. I really screwed that up. I just, I just wanted a couple gold, man. It's hard running a hamlet. So yeah, it looks like, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with an attack already. Oh God. Okay, so obviously I'm gonna pause time and try and do as much of this as possible. All right, there we go. These, these guys should be easy. There's one big guy here though that's kind of scary. So I'm gonna back up my hero here because I want them to attack my little guys. They are disposable. My hero is not. Okay, so that really wasn't that bad. After the attack, you search among the slain creatures and find a large bag. You suspect it contains mostly useless, useless garbage until something catches your eye. So we got some sort of sickle. Uh, I've never actually seen that. Okay, so this is a harvest sickle valued in field of grain and field of battle. This magical sickle grants plus one attack. The sickle can also harvest food from your enemies whenever the hero attacks. That is a cool freaking upgrade. So that means less worrying about farms and uh, we can actually utilize this thing. So uh, yeah, that's the first hero item that I've ever seen. So that's exciting. And we also have a hero attack by the way as well that, do, that does fire arrows. So that's pretty cool as well. All right, so in defense, I would like to get some guard towers up. So we need 50 wood for that and two axes and one builder. So yeah. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna wanna build some things. We got 60 wood right now. Now, wells improve nearby houses, attracting more workers. I think we should actually do that. I didn't do that before. So if we maybe start putting some more hamlets in here, or sorry, buildings. No, you know what? Let's just put this right beside these. And that's gonna cost all my wood, but I wanna see what it does. Cause usually it's one builder per house, but maybe they'll randomly come now, or there will be two builders per house or something. So that sounds good. We're gonna assign work. That's probably gonna cost a lot in building. All right, we'll drop lumber down and yeah, there we go. So three in building. And again, we're gonna need more lumber. So let's do that. Uh, harvest is ready to plant. So we're gonna get 20 food. We got lots of food anyways. So right now, no real issues. Um, okay, a bulky wagon lumbers into town smoke puffs from a chimney in the top as a stout suit soot covered woman Steps down to greet you. I'm loyal patron of the veil guard and I offer my services if you provide the iron I'll craft a wondrous item for you. So 24 iron. Do we want to trust this lady? Sweeten the deal with 24 iron plus 14 gold. You know what? I trust this lady if she's got a pretty cool looking wagon. I trust her Look at that. Splendid, she says, and gives you a firm handshake. The woman uses some of the gold to purchase rare materials. As the iron is stacked by her wagon, she fires up her mobile forge and crafts the more interesting item, a more interesting item than you expected. So we got some sort of armor here. And unfortunately, that's going to probably take the spot of my hero slot here. Lightweight, yet incredibly strong. The breastplate grants heavy armor boost to any hero. So I kind of like the idea of the sickle right now, but we should get more heroes as we go deeper into the game. So obviously that item's gonna help out later on. So I kind of jumped the gun there, but we weren't really using our iron anyways. All right, so we're on day five out of 15. I want to get a couple more builders down. I noticed, did the houses get bigger or am I crazy? We might actually have some more builders now. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, it's see. I think we only had four before. I might be totally crazy on that. But yeah, if we pull back, so it did upgrade to two. So those wells are extremely important. Okay. 
At least I'm pretty sure it upgraded upgraded to two. Don't totally quote me on that, though. So now we, we definitely have to get more spearmen and whatnot. I definitely want to get some spearmen in the front. I think I need three for that. Now, unfortunately, that would put me in the negative for wood. So if I... Nope. Unfortunately, I can't... I cannot do that right now. So I'm going to make one spear for the night. We're just going to focus on wood. Um... We're definitely going to need some iron as well, but I don't really know what iron's for just yet. So I know I would like to get a little bit more workers. So we're going to end the day and uh, just deal with getting lumber right now. One of your builders tells you an archer tower in town is in need of repairs. Perhaps this could wait, but the builder insists it should be dealt with now. Uh, well, we got six iron. That's okay. Do the repair with ten wood. Obviously, I'm almost out of iron, so let's do the wood. And uh, let's not risk anything happening to an archer tower. Wait, we don't even have an archer tower. Did that guy just scam me? I think I just got scammed by a dirty uh, builder there. So let's go back and... Now, we should have enough for a guard tower, yeah? Yeah, we have the two axes. Oh, no, we didn't make the two axes. We made two spears. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna have to make axes for guard towers. Uh, the problem is the, the, the fog of war keeps going everywhere, so I don't know how useful a guard tower will be. At least with troops, I can move them to where it goes. So I think it might be smarter to do that for right now. So we're gonna focus on that. We're gonna make some more spears tonight. Uh, oh, all my workers are assigned. Okay, so yeah, there. Now we have enough to make two more spears. And again, I'm gonna focus mostly on lumber for right now, uh, because that's really what we need. So we're gonna end the day, and now we're actually gonna start getting some storage, so we should be able to do more per day. A bulky wag wagon lumbers in the town, smoke puffs from the chimney top. Okay, we've already seen this. I'm loyal patron of the Velgard. Okay, so she would obviously do it again, but we've already had her services, and I don't have enough iron to do that, so that's unfortunate. We might want to stack those items, because they might be rare later. I don't know. Okay, finally, now that we got some spears, we can make some damn spearmen, though, so definitely I want that. We're going to put those guys right there guarding the front lines, because we're obviously going to have a fight over here, so that's going to be exciting. Let's actually bring everybody over and kind of prepare for that. We got that guy there, this guy there. And I think that should be good defenses. Like, I, I I don't know. This is my first time running a Hamlet, seriously. So uh, I don't want to go too crazy with the, ar with the uh, army, because I think you lose them when you move. So we still have 80 timber, though. So I'm thinking, do we want to build? Because we can do farms and stables as well. Required for horses. Uh, I don't even know if we want to get the horses on this Hamlet. We're on day seven. I don't think it's going to get too crazy here. So let's focus on housing right now. I want to really utilize this well. So it actually shows you the spots that are utilized with it. So obviously, if we can do that... Oh, it, it needs a road. Okay, so that's totally fine. We can put a road there as well. There we go. And maybe we should actually start focusing on defenses as well. I'm just going to put a couple walls down just to expand out this wall a little bit because I think there's going to be a pretty big fight here. Um, okay, so aside from that, we're doing pretty good. My food's getting kind of low. I don't want to risk it too much. One day to harvest, though, and then we get 20 food, so we should be totally fine. Now, we have lots of builders right now, though, so I'm just going to reassign the work here, and there we go. We need three for building. Um, I want to get... You know what we need? We're going to need some defense, so let's make some armor right now, and unfortunately, that takes iron, so that's where the iron's going to go, so you know what? We'll collect some iron for today. And I guess we'll do timber tomorrow. All right, there we go. We built some walls, though. We built another house. A strange man also comes pulling a cart. He smells of filth and covered soot and grime. He begs to let him stay the night in exchange for what's in his cart. So I have to figure out if I want to let this weird guy stay for what's in his cart. Let's let him stay and see what we get. In the morning, he's gone, and so are some of your goods. Oh, my God. This is, this is why I'm too trustworthy. All right, well, that was a complete failure. Unfortunately, he stole my wares. What, what do we got going on right now? We don't really have too many resources right now, so I think we should focus on that. We did make some iron to make some armor, though, so I do want to do that as well. It, uh, Harvest is ready to plant, so that's good. So we're going to make uh, plus two armor. Let's make four armor, and... Oh, no, that's actually going to make me lose. Oh, no, I, I, I do have enough iron. Perfect. And then we're just going to go crazy on lumber, and that's going to give us 60 for tomorrow. So perfect, and now we can armor up some of our guys as well. Your scouts report a nearby farmstead has been destroyed with no survivors. By now, the slain have risen and as skeleton warriors and are likely heading this way. You ready to defenses as a full moon rises? Okay, well, are we, yeah, okay, so they're going to fight today. So that's kind of exciting. Let's uh not attack with the spearmen. I want them to hold out the front. Uh, let my hero do most of the attacking here. Let's actually try these fire arrows. Ooh, okay, so it just does more damage, it looks like. 
And, okay, so there's actually quite a few of them. But uh, they really don't have too much HP, so I'm not too worried right now. Let's get my archers he helping out, though, because uh, they are within range. Where's my spearmen? Are they out there fighting? Oh, yeah, they are out there fighting. Okay, so MVP spearmen automatically attack. We did level up our archers as well. Some bows were found among the dead. These will be put to better use. Look at that. Okay, so I didn't even know you level up your characters. That's really cool. So we did it. We survived a pretty big attack there. That was really good. And we have lots and lots of timber now. So I kind of got to decide what I want to do with that timber. Uh, I, we, we definitely want to armor up. So let's armor up some of these guys. There we go. And I think that is pretty much it. All right, so I think we should do one more house. Let's get aggressive with the amount of units that we have. And actually, it's not turning into water. Oh, there it is. Okay, so the water thing is there. Needs a road for that. That's totally fine. We'll put a road right there just like that. Uh, okay, so they're going to be coming from over here as well. So we don't have the defenses over there, but we should be able to hold them off. One thing I don't have much of right now is money. So uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do some trading soon. So with that in mind, we might just want to stockpile some resources because uh, there's really not much we need right now. So I'm going to, just in case I want to make a tower, let's go to axes here because we need two of those for that. Uh, that's going to make, oh, turn us to zero iron, I'm assuming. So let's mine some iron as well. Oh, actually, we got lots of guys on lumber. So let's do a split here between lumber and iron. Food again, we're totally fine with just one farmer working full time on that. So I'm kind of just doing that. And there we go. We're just going to end the day. You wake to an eerie silence. No crickets, no wind. All is silent. Save the rattle of bones and armor skeletons also approach great all right so we, we're clearly not getting much of a break right now uh so that's just gonna auto attack perfect we'll get those guys down really really quickly there we go probably should do our fire attack let's do that there we go hopefully it doesn't affect my units that are close to it that is so cool though okay my spearmen have taken a lot of damage but that's fine uh if we do lose them they are disposable so there we go, there we go. We'll get these two guys, and that should be pretty much it. No big deal, no big deal at all. And we got some money as well, that's what we needed. And a merchant card has arrived, perfect. All right, hopefully they have uh, something that we can sell. So we got, uh, what do we got a lot of? We actually got a lot of food right now. So if we can sell food, two per, two per 10. That, that's, that's a lot of money. So I'm gonna sell 50 food. 12 per archer? You know what? Screw that. I can get some more archers. I want to get some gold right now, so we're going to do that. 8 per 10 iron. I think I want to keep my iron, and I don't have any horses. So there we go. We made 46 right now. Uh, what's 3 per? Food? Not interested in food. I actually sold you a crap load of food for dirt cheap. You know what? Just in case, let's take so some of that back. It's really not worth it for the price. I I'm only going to sell it 20. All right, so there we go. At least now we have a little bit of money so we can train troops, and I think we will do that. So let's go to assign work. We need... I do like a good archer, so let's get some more bowmen, and we're going to need 40 wood for that. Man, I didn't realize the amount of wood it used, so uh, this is going to be... I'm not even going to have enough to make the four bows, so let's make three bows and then get some more lumber for the next one. I don't even care about the iron for right now, so we'll mine one iron and focus on getting lumber right now. All right, end the day, there we go. And uh, is this does this change at all during the day and night? No, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Uh, a crow delivers a sealed message. It's a bounty for a local group of ruffians. Goddamn ruffians. Sherman's vermin, wanted dead or alive. You have heard of the Sherman and his lot. This will be easy. The bounty is 18 gold pieces and the duration is one day. Call for your volunteers. Uh, okay, so we can hire out my bowmen or my spearmen. Obviously, my spearmen are only level one. So let's do that. Free 18 gold. Why not? Good luck, Spearman, on your uh, wonderful bounty there. I didn't even know I could zoom in. That's really cool. This, this art style is amazing, by the way. All right, so now that our Spearmen are gone, hopefully we don't run into an issue tonight because I really don't have too many troops right now, and I don't have everything required to get more troops. So I want one more bow, and I really do need to get those axes as well. We're going to focus on lumber right now, though. Uh, we'll keep the one guy in the iron. So there we go. Let's see what happens tonight. This evening, you enter the inn to find a man sitting alone, mumbling to himself. Plants seem to be growing from his garments, and he wears a large mushroom cap on his head. He claims he can improve one of your wells for a fee. Do you trust this man tampering with your water source? You know what? This guy is either batshit crazy or a crazy magical beast. So I have to decide, is two gold worth that? I'm doing it, damn it. He grabs the gold, leaps to his feet. You won't be disappointed. He sprints into the woods and later returns with a bag of foraged ingredients. He spends the night brewing and sprinkling things into the well. In the morning, you see the result. 
It doesn't tell me what the result is. All right, well, the merchant cart has arrived. Perhaps something trading can be done. Okay, so we got another merchant cart. Uh, at long last, your level one spirit matured, and there we go. We got that 18 gold as well. Perfect timing, the merchant's here. So I'm not really sure what he did with the well. It's still there, it's still intact, but I probably wouldn't drink out of it for at least a couple days. That was kind of weird. All right, this guy's actually selling Bowman at four per. You know what? I, I'm going to buy another one so we can make another one if we do want to. And is he buying anything? Oh, man, if only I had some axes right now. God damn, dude. All right, so that's fine. We'll, we'll use a little bit of our money to get some more Bowman. And with that in mind, let's actually get another Bowman on the field here. So we got a decent army because I don't know what's going to happen on day 15. It might be a crazy fight. Uh, so we do want to kind of prepare. Looks like we're going to get actually attacked by two Drums different below. areas. So, uh, what am I going to do here? Drums All right, so we're just going to have to split up the troops and attack here. So, uh, I think I got, yeah, there's my other troops. And I'm going to put these guys over here guarding the wall. So, at least on this side, there's a wall there that we can utilize. And I'll have to just damage these guys over here like crazy with my heroes. So, actually, with that in mind, let's just put these guys over here. My heroes should be able to survive it alone. Oh, wait, is this the magical well? I'm, I'm noticing there's like an aura around it. So I think that's what it was talking about. So this one's been blessed, not the one that has all my housing around it. Great. Oh, and I didn't even realize I have something being built that I, ha I haven't been assigning the work to. So I probably should do that. Okay, so food's ready to be planted. Don't really care about lumber. Actually, do we want to build anything? We got 96 lumber right now, so it might be smart. With this blessed well, let's put a house there. Needs a road as well. Damn it. All right, we'll put a road right, right under my hero there. And now we're going to have to... Uh, oh, I can repair, but I haven't really had anything affected. So let's assign work. Let's figure out how many people need to build. So yeah, we're going to need four on building right now. And what else should we do? Uh, I think it's still going to be smart to do lumber. So let's get the guys off bows and get as much lumber as possible. So there we go. And bam, another house. It's a calm and uneventful night. Damn, that's rare. Okay, so that's good, actually. I didn't want to be attacked by something or start losing something because we got a decent army right now. This is actually really good. Do we want to do another troop? That's my question. I think we will. Let's do this. We got lots of archers now. This should be totally fine. I actually might bring... Let's bring one of the guys over to help out my dude. Because again, we lose the game if we lose our hero. I don't know how much HP the hero has. We can probably see yes, 60. And actually, my ordinary troops have 60 as well. So she's really not that powerful in terms of HP. Or he is, rather. I, I thought it was a girl for some reason. All right, day 13. We only got a couple days left, so I have to decide really what I want to do for these final few days. I think we're going to make a little bit more armor, and how much iron is that going to use? Okay, so I have 22 iron, so we're going to make plus four armor, and then uh, I guess we're going to have to mine some iron as well, so let's get some guys doing that, and we'll get guys on lumbers. So how many people do we got now? 8, 10, 11. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we got the Iron Lady back again. Uh, I don't want to do anything with that anymore because I still have a little stockpile. So I'm going to thank her and uh, tell her to leave. So here we are, day 14 out of 15. We're either going to be attacked tonight or tomorrow night. So I think if we're attacked tomorrow, we actually might be able to uh, make some of the towers. Let's actually prepare for that. So we're going to go to axes and crap. Unfortunately, I used all my iron. So I'm not, I didn't realize Axis took 16 iron. That's where iron really comes into play. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have time to do that. But I'm going to try my best to do that. So end of day, and a fog settles as the crowd approaches the town. Through your spyglass, you see it's not a crowd, but an army of bone and steel, the undead. So yeah, we're being attacked tonight. I, I didn't know if we were attacked on the 15th night or on the... The, the night before the 15th so uh yeah i guess we got to deal with this here we go all right so they're being they're coming in over here i'm not too concerned about that they're gonna auto attack that that's what i'm concerned about is these guys over here we don't really have too much defense and that's what's gonna be creepy so here we go fire arrows oh the bosses are this way okay let's bring these guys over here because i don't know how hard these guys are gonna be but it's definitely going to be harder than this side. So there we go. Come on. Oh, this isn't bad at all. Dude, we're done. Okay, I thought those guys would be way harder. Maybe I over-prepared here. That's not a bad thing, though. So there we go. Bring everybody over on this side. I don't think there's going to be anybody coming on this side anymore. And, oh, man, they actually broke the wall down, though. This, this might be the harder area. So fire time. There we go. There we go. All right, just got to watch my hero's HP. She is getting hit a little bit. Uh, let's get these guys to all attack. If they're not in range, they don't actually attack. So there we go. I think there's only one or two left. 
And look at that, we got five armor. Not too bad, not too bad at all, and we have done it. You have successfully defended the village. So this is where it's kind of a little bit different than most city builders or hamlet builders, whatever you want to call this, because you actually move forward. So we have to go onward, watch the market for gold prices, a surplus for fruit and gold. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we're going to go out to the map now and decide where we want to go next. All right, so that was Clearwater, and we're moving the front lines up. So we have three different choices to do. Northbury, Grey Med, or West Lock. If we open these up, it will show us what we have. So enemies are green skins. I don't know much about enemies just yet. Uh, we get a Paladin Hero, 20 iron, and it looks like a guard tower. Technology unlocked by choosing this town. So I guess we have a guard tower unlocked. Heavy walls is unlocked if we go here. So these are different upgrades. I, I thought we already had the guard tower though. 50 wood if we go here and another ranger. I like the idea of having a ranger hero army. That might be cool. Demons attack here and then we get javelins, 50 wood, and a paladin. So I'm thinking, what are we what are we fighting here? Green skin. So no idea how hard demons are, but I kind of like the idea of paladins as well. But oh, I want the heavy walls. Okay, so yeah, I think we're going to do... It makes sense because we have archers. If we can add heavy wall defenses in front of them, then they're going to be really, really good. So I think we're going to go for another archer and heavy walls, and we're going to defend Grey Med. So in the next episode, we're going to be doing that. Let's see what we got at our disposal, though. This is totally random. That's why I like this game so much, because sometimes you get lucky with the placement. Other times you don't. You get to the village just after an attack, searching through the slain. You see a lone ranger. Thank heavens you are here. The warrior says, I was hoping I'd get a chance to meet you under the circum under better circumstances, but this will do. Like the last village, this place is in no shape for a battle. Scout support, you, you have about 20 days this time before the main assault, and this one will be bigger. All right, so obviously it gets progressively harder as you move up the front lines, and uh, looking at this town... Ooh, it's kind of spread out. These houses way in the distance here are going to be hard to defend. And the fact that the houses are so spread out, it means a well is going to be kind of difficult to place. But it's something that we can definitely deal with. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this game. This was, once again, Veilguard. In the next episode, we will be defending this town and doing the fight. So, as always, thanks for watching and liking, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.